Hi, I'm Renee Smith. And I'm Tammy Fellers, and we're math consultants at ASDAC in Hutchinson, Kansas. Today we're here to tell you about two new decks that we've created, and they are called Standard and Expanded 1 and Standard and Expanded 2. And they're basically the reason they have the exact same names is because they're for different grade levels. Yeah. And we'll talk about that as we get going. The, the deck 1 is for second and third grade. Mm -hmm. It stops at 1,000 with regards to place value, mm -hmm. and deck two stops at 1 million and is built for those fourth graders that are supposed to move past that um, thousand, thousand mark. mark. Right. So how it works is, you know, our decks come with task sheets and um, down PDF downloadables, and so all of this is downloadable mm -hmm. for you. And on the card, you will see that there's a letter on the card that matches the mat. Right. And the first car game we're going to play, or the first activity we're going to do, is Renee and I are partners, and I've given her four cards, and she has four cards. And the reason for that is because each of those puzzle, basically we're going to make a puzzle, and each of the puzzles has eight pieces, and so there are multiple puzzles within the deck. Correct. So I'm going to go first, Renee, okay. and my first card says 988, and so I know that in expanded form, that's 980, 900 plus 8 plus 80, and so I flip that over. And mine is 892, and I see an 800 plus 90 plus 2 down in this corner. And then I have 924, 900 plus 20 plus 4. Mine is seven, my next card is 700 plus 80 plus 3, oh, 783 actually, but in expanded <laughs> form, I gave it to you. Uh, 518, so I do the 500 plus 10 plus 8. And then mine is 179, so I have 100 plus 70 plus 9. 666, 600 plus 60 plus 6. And my last one is 215, and luckily we have a 200 plus 10 plus 5 left. And, and so look at as that. As you can see, it, we created a picture of two whales. Right. And so it's self-checking. If we had done something incorrect, obviously we would know that. So that's one of the activities that you can do. Another activity you can do with that same whale puzzle, I can do it in word form as well. And the, the really important thing we're concerned with here in word form, once we hit the 100 mark, is the, the correct way to pronounce and spell those words. Because we hear, at least in our part of the country, mm -hmm. a lot of miscorrect pronunciation of the, the number 173. A lot of people slip in the word and. Right. And we know that and in math is reserved for where that decimal point lands. And so we've got to train people to say those words correctly and see them and spell them correctly. Correct. So deck one actually has a couple of, of um, puzzles that are made with two digit numbers and then it goes all the way to 1000. And deck two Go, goes past that. Goes so past and it starts with working in the thousands and moves its way all the way up. And so again, you'll get maths that have both the, the expanded form and the word form of that higher deck. And then a really neat activity, we've given you a blank mat mm -hmm. that for you to make whatever you want, you, know, you can use it, type it on the computer, or you can just hand write them in. Right. Um, is create your own map. Now that we have that component down, I've got these cards with numbers on them. They're self-checking. Mm -hmm. Put some computation down on the paper. Right. And um, you'll notice here, I did a variety of things to give you some ideas, but here are the, my bottom six. I'm still somewhat working off of place value and understanding that, you know, those extra ones unitize into a 10 and so I made up six that went together. And so when you made this, Tammy, you took the Puzzle C's mat and made sure that your puzzle right. pieces would still stay in the right place. Right. 19 was here. 13 was there. Right. right. Absolutely. Right. Because I want those I want those to still be the two self-checking. Another another really easy way to do this would be have like what we did on that very first puzzle, do the puzzle. I have to dig back down to it, sorry. And then have children turn those two numbers that are side by side and do computation that way. So that right. would if be that's another possibility. For your grade level. Right. Absolutely. So we've given you several ideas. Don't forget, there is always a downloadable with all of Renee's and I's ideas. Plus, you can continue to come back to the video multiple times. Thanks for joining us.